Hey, people. Yeah, sorry, I was eating a cookie. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, uh, in this video tutorial, I want to show you how to make models bigger. Like trees, barrels, um, well, every model uh, you like. And yeah, I'm now going to show you how to do that. This video was requested by the Orb 14 I uploaded it before on my YouTube page, but YouTube wouldn't let me make the video public because it was too big. So I'm now going to make it. So, yeah. Um, first, I'm going to show you it in Call of Duty: Night Defense Radium, and after that, in Call of Duty 4 Compiled Tools or Call of Duty 4 Radiant. Say that way. So first, Call of Duty: Night Defense Radiant. I'm also going to show you how to import a model. Okay. For first thing um, I'm do it. I want to do is. Um, well, how to play, place a model. You press the right mouse button on the 2D grid of your radiant and go to MISC, M I S C, model, M O D A E L. And you will get the entity, you can minimize this, and you'll get uh, this one to open your model file. You just can leave it uh, alone. So this is your model for now, a red box. Press N, maybe twice or once. And here you got key and value. In key you will insert model. And in value you will insert, insert the model name. Um, well, for that one I got a model viewer that I specially downloaded for Call of Duty 1 and Night Defensive and yeah um, here I got the Call of Duty models and textures and UOX model viewer I'm going to use the Call of Duty textures and models that one is made for Call of Duty 1 I'm going to add a download link in the description to download uh, this package so here's models you got models from 0, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, etc. I'm going to use uh, L, lamp. I will, I will take this one. X model slash large happy tree A. What you have to do is you select the model name and, pre and copy it or control C. Then you go to your radiant, open the entity, and key is model, and if fail you, you have to paste the model name you just copied in here. And press enter. Well, this is your model. And you select it. And here we got ourselves a model. Well, this one is already big. But how to make it bigger? To scale the size of the oh blah 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 my English sucks of the models. And I press N for the entity again, and delete your key and value. A key you will write down as model scale. And value one is the normal scale. If you take a number lower than one, see where's oh here, yeah. Okay, like I selected again. Fuck. I selected it again. And model skill I will add uh, 0 0.5 press enter you see now it's smaller but what if I if I enter 1 again it's a normal size if I enter 2 it's double the normal size and you can press 
you can insert 100, 1000, 1 million, but your tree will be huge. You can also insert 0 0.001. Let's try that out. 0 0.001. And here's our little, little, little tree. It's very little. It's not even one unit high. And now it's gone. There's our little tree. Lol. Well, let's make it uh, um, zero dot zero one. Now it's a little bigger, but still little. And let's make it zero dot one, and you got this size again. And to uh, if you want a normal size back, you just press. If you insert one model skill one, oh here's your normal size back. So I hope I've learned you something. And in part two of this video, I'm going to show you how to do it in Call of Duty 4 Radiant. And that way, it will also work for Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty Modern World of War, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I know it is. You can't buy it yet, or you can't pre-order it. But I still want to show you because I think it will be the same. So, thanks for watching and I hope I've learned you something. Uh, yeah. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe if you want. It's all free. Uh, bye bye.